gouache is hands down my favorite painting medium. It's, it's a hybrid between watercolor and acrylic. It reacts and behaves like watercolors while also being thick and opaque like acrylic paint. And I just think it has the best qualities of both those different types of paint. But I, my old set of gouache is back in England and I'm home in Norway for the summer. So I thought that I'd buy a new gouache set so that I have one in both places and don't have to travel to and from with it all the time. Um, so yeah, this is my new set of gouache paint, Hime Mia gouache paint. And today I thought I'd be trying them out. Like I said, this is Hime Mia gouache. Um, I believe it has like double the amount of colors as my old set because it has these little like dual packets of paint. I don't know if that makes sense, but I could try to get a picture of it, I guess. <laughs> um, so yeah, more colors, less paint, but that doesn't really bother me because I don't think I'd, I think it'd still take me quite a while to use up all this paint. So I'm not really all that bothered by that. I'd rather have more colors to be honest, cause I don't really like mixing colors. <laughs> I do have a bit of experience with gouache um, as I just said, it is my preferred painting medium. Um, I've kind of dabbled in watercolor, like a minimal amount. I don't really do watercolor that much. I, I think it's a very difficult medium in my opinion. I find it really hard to like control and I think it's very like inconsistent or maybe it's just me really bad at using it, but, <laughs> and I do like acrylic, but I think something about acrylic paint that like really turns me off from using it is the fact that, um, you have to like squeeze out your paints, mix up whatever colors you want. You have to clean your brushes afterwards. You got to clean the palette. Um, you know, you got to, the, the paint's just going to dry and stuff like that. Like, I guess the cleaning up part is the part that really like puts me off from art supplies. I don't, I want to be able to just walk away from it and be fine. And with gouache paint, I, I don't even wash the brushes. Not going to lie. I just, I always have a little cup of water on my desk when I paint with gouache. And I just kind of like rub it in the cup a little bit until like there's no more paint on the brush and then I wipe the brush and I put the brush away and that's it. <laughs> I don't have to wash my, any palettes with paint or anything and then I just like I just put the cover back on the gouache set and I just put it away. That's it. There's no there's not like a bunch of cleaning or setting up involved in this, which is why which is probably why I prefer it. I don't like I, I don't want to use a medium if I'm just thinking about how much work it's going to be to have to clean it up and put it away. Especially since I don't really sit and draw for hours on end. I take a lot of breaks. I come back. I do I do my drawings in a lot of different sittings. So to have to like bring out all my stuff and then clean up, put it away. And then the next time I want to work on the drawing, then bring everything back out, set everything back up, knowing that I'm going to have to like keep repeating this step. It just kills my motivation for using that medium in the first place. Um. So yeah, that will be... One of the reasons why I love gouache so much. But yeah, I like that you can get these like watercolory like washes of paint. You know, because you can dilute the paint with water and get more of a watercolor style. But you also don't technically need water at all when using gouache as well. You could just use it straight out of the little tubs and it'll apply like acrylic paint. And it's, it's nice and thick and opaque. That's something I, I didn't really like. Or that, that's one of the reasons why I don't really like uh, using watercolor that much because it's more diluted soft i mean i know you can find opaque paints mine aren't very opaque and i think you have to be more skilled at using watercolors and understanding how they work to get them to look more saturated and opaque but yeah i'm not the biggest fan of that more diluted soft painterly style of coloring i guess i like more bright saturated like intense colors and that's one of the reasons why gouache works so much better for me <laughs> i thought that some just quick, simple sketches to kind of get a feel for the gouache would be nice. Just to get back into the rhythm of it. I haven't used it in a long time. Um, so yeah, these, these, the two sketches that you'll see in this video, they're quite messy and painterly. But maybe my next painting will be something a little, a little less low effort and a little bit more challenging. Um, but yeah, I really just wanted to get into the rhythm of it. I just wanted to get a feel for it. Try out these new paints. See if they still work the same way as my old set. Uh, at the end, I also used Bosca pens for details for both these drawings. I I like keeping my paintings more like surreal and fantastical, whimsical. Uh, I don't like when it's so rooted in reality. Um, I think I've, I've probably spoken about this a million times before, but I'm not the biggest fan of realism. I don't have the patience for it. I don't really enjoy the look of it either. Like if I want a realism, I just go out and look at life, you know, I look at photographs or something. So I just I just prefer things that just 
you know, have uh, look a little fantastical and whimsical, a little a little not real. <laughs> And yeah, that's why I also prefer the, the more a more of a painterly style. I don't want it to look like I've taken a photograph of nature. I'd rather use these colors that you probably would not see is, see in a scene like this. I just that's just what I like in art. And yeah, I don't actually have all that much else to say about these drawings. They were simple. They were quite fast. Uh, this is a quite short video as well. Um, I've been quite busy this week. I'm actually recording this voiceover on the day that this video will come out. And yeah, I haven't, uh, haven't had time for all too much this week. So hopefully next week will be a longer, more detailed and in-depth video. This was just kind of what I had time for this week. Um, but I could talk about my current art projects. Um, as I said, I've been very, I've been quite busy this week, so I haven't really done all too much, but I have, I do have some things planned. I, I am working on a digital drawing of a character. Finally, because I've done a lot of like landscapes, uh, cityscapes, I've drawn fish and ducks and animals. Like I haven't done a lot of people and characters. That's just always what I've been known for. That's always what I've drawn, what I've always enjoyed drawing. And I haven't done it for ages now. So I have started on the drawing. So if you follow me on Instagram, every time I work on anything, I do um, add like work in progress shots to my story. I do also post to my story pretty much every day. And yeah, that's definitely where I, I post the most. Um, that's pretty much the only place where you see work in progress shots for me as well. So if that interests you at all, then go follow me at Unifragirl on Instagram. Uh, I have done a few more sketchbook sketches. I have recorded it. Um, so I guess I could make a video out of that. Just more sketchbooky stuff. So if you enjoyed that one video that I posted, what, two weeks ago maybe? With the... With the koi fish i could do something like that again uh yeah and those are the only projects that i'm actively working on but i like i said i, I have more planned um i do i, I do want to do a studio tour while i'm here because i think my, stu my last studio tour was like two maybe two or three years ago like back when i first finished up the studio and it, it looks very different now and i've had people ask me for a studio tour so that's definitely planned i just want to clean up the studio <laughs> before um before i record that video um, and I've been thinking, I've been planning on doing a meet the artist video again as well. I just draw myself again. <laughs> it's like a little introduction, you know, meet the artist kind of thing. And I used to do that every year, but it's been, it has been a while now, which is why I'd like to do a, a little update, compare my art now to, you know, the other times I've done the meet the artist challenge. So yeah, I guess those are the, the most important things that I have planned, that, the things that I, I, I'm in the biggest rush to do <laughs> i hope that you guys enjoyed this video even if it was a little short and a little low effort <laughs> i hope it was still enjoyable and i'll see you guys next sunday